Hey you guys, this is Sean McNeil with New World Reviews. Hey, today I want to talk about some of the new features of Windows 7 and I want to tell you why I think it's a good idea to go ahead and buy it if you have a Windows PC that you like and that you're not planning on replacing anytime soon. The first new and innovative uh, feature of Windows 7 is the new taskbar and it's really not going to be anything like the taskbar that you currently have at the bottom of your screen. The new taskbar is going to have little icons pinned to it, kind of like the icons on your desktop right now. So for example, you'll have a little E down there for Internet Explorer. And when you mouse over it, it's going to show you a miniature version of each of the Internet Explorer windows that you currently have open. And then when you move your cursor up and mouse over each of these little tiles, it's going to show a full size version of that uh, window in the background. Windows 7 is also supposed to have a new and improved version of its Windows Search, which was introduced in Windows Vista. All you have to do is type in a keyword and it will search all of your programs and file types and give you the best results. Finally, there are new ways to interact with your Windows in Windows 7. For example, if you want to compare two programs or two windows or two files on your screen, instead of having to resize those two windows, you can drag one to the left side of the screen and the other window to the right side of the screen and both of them will resize automatically to fit exactly half the screen. Or if you wanted to maximize a window, instead of going up and trying to hit the maximize button, sometimes it's kind of small and kind of hard to hit. Uh, so what you can do is just grab the window at the top and drag it to the top of your screen and it will automatically resize that window to fill the entire screen. If you've purchased a new Windows PC recently, chances are it's going to come with a free upgrade to Windows 7. And if you're confused about uh, how to redeem that or how to get the Windows 7 when it comes out in October or on October 22nd, go to the manufacturer's website. So if you bought a Dell, go to Dell's website. And you'll probably have to type in the, um, the serial number, but uh, they're going to send you an email when Windows 7 is ready, and then you can follow the instructions from there. But if you're not planning on updating your computer anytime soon, uh, it's still my opinion that uh, this Windows 7 is good enough it, that it justifies the price. Um, the home premium uh, version starts at $199, uh, the professional version is $299, and the ultimate is $329. I'd probably go with home premium or professional, uh, but uh, it, either way I think that it's definitely worth your money, even though it is a little bit higher, it, actually it's a lot higher. If you look at what uh, Apple did recently when they released Snow Leopard, to upgrade to Snow Leopard was only $29. So th this is a, a big jump, but I think it's worth it. I think you're going to enjoy it, and it really fundamentally changes the way that you're using your computer on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm going to put some a link into the sidebar, and it's going to show some, uh, there's going to be some videos there that you can check out and see what the uh, user interface is like with the new Windows 7. If you like it, think about buying it. Uh, yeah.